Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to Small Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last episode, we came to Grand Dream City, we explored it and some spooky stuff happened. Met some weird doctor guy who was like, stay away from the Axis University. Came to this place right here and then we got told about a tournament where you can win and then you get all 18 gym badges, but it was fully booked up, we couldn't enter. But now we have to head to the residential district, which we want to go south, then left, I'm pretty sure Rodia said, so uh... Let's start looking and what is going on here? Come on, did you find out what this place is called yet? Oh, hmm, so this is the central building? Wow, the size of this building is absolutely impressive. It is. This whole like city is massive though. So south, do you want to go south down this way then left? The residential district, that's Main Street. Let's take a left. I think this is the way we want to go. Dream District, this doesn't seem like the right way. Okay, I think we might be exploring for a long time. I explored most of this town, but this is so big. So confusing. Might be a better idea to take the subway to where we got to go. Also saw that little like ghost person that just kind of disappeared in the uh, on the buildings. That was that was creepy. Right, so this could potentially be the way, because that was south and then left. Yeah, there we go. Residential district. Got to find uh, the person to talk to. That's not keen, is it? You're no fun. Oh, wow, thanks. Really beat him in a battle. That's probably why. So we got to find the building we need to enter, and I don't know which building we're going to go into. I don't think it's this way. Let me find around here. Ooh! So this gives us Generation 7 Pokemon in now, that's awesome, Tojimaru. Someone did say like, all the gyms have changed and everything in this game's like got Gen 7 added, so what I might do, is once we finish this version 9, I might stream the game again, from uh, on Twitch, if you guys want to watch that, from start to finish, after we finish um, Spectrum, which we're currently doing now. Although I'm, I'm thinking I might just wait until the game finishes, and then when the game is complete, we're going to start like, a new playthrough on the channel. Because now like I know things like you know how difficult this game can be, what kind of Pokemon you need to have. It should be uh, a lot better. Yeah, probably going in here. Dream Complex. Oh, there she is. Looks like you've finally made it, Voltsy. Everyone else is upstairs. Remember to take the middle area to the top floor. The penthouse. Ooh. Penthouse. I like the sound of that. This is where you'll be staying for the duration of your time here. Oh, nice, man. This looks awesome. Try to get you guys on your own floor. But all the rooms are occupied. Anyway, your room is in the top left room. You'll be in there until room gets back. Till then, please make yourself at home. We'll talk when everyone is ready. There's a lot to discuss. Okay. Let's go talk to some people, though. Sounds like to let us stay here. We're going to have to make it up to her at some point. Yes, we are. Oh, we can go through here. Hey, can we rest? Yes, take a nap. Fully healed, let's go. And... Here we go, say VNAM. This place being a self-proclaimed paradise, it sure is filled with a lot of TV dinners. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of TV dinner every now and then. Ooh, got two beds in there. Found this room. There's gonna be like a hidden item somewhere. Uh, we have one more roommate, but she's not here right now. She's really awesome. We get to meet her later. Hey. Can't wait. I'm kinda excited to be honest. And I think oh nope. This place is so different. I'm not sure if that's good or not. It's, it's alright, I like this place. And nothing. Alright, let's go speak to Rodia. Yo, let's get everyone uh, here then, shall we? Hello, Voxie, how are you doing? Ready to start our discussion? Yes, I am. Well, alright. It's time we clear some things up. Grand Dream City is in danger, and everyone knows it. It's up to us to get to the bottom of this and find the culprit. Wait, before we head down that path, there's something I want to know. Uh, you want to know about Rune, right? You asked this question before. I've seen missing person posters around the city about a woman named Rune. In fact, it was Melia who pointed them out to me. 
That's correct. Do you two know who Rune is? Rune is my sister. Rune is my sister. She, she's your sister? Rune, my sister. She's been missing for quite some time now. Here one day, and then gone the next. She showed no sign of leaving. She just did. Rune is a kind person. She didn't have any enemies, which makes this disappearance even more bizarre. We've asked many people if they've seen Rune recently. If they had any idea what her life was really like those past few weeks, but no one ever had an answer. We've put up signs, commercials, podcasts, and we're fruitless. Besides, Huey and myself, there was only one person who knew Rune personally, Flora. Flora? Flora is friends with Rune? Yeah, they were childhood friends. They used to keep each other company most of the time. Have you asked her anything about Rune? Multiple times, but she refuses to talk. They even got the police involved, but she's too good at manipulating people. Wouldn't take her to be a manipulator, but I guess I've never had a conversation with her to begin with. Everyone thinks she's a kind-hearted, soft-spoken individual, but she's... crafty. Hmm. Right, well, now we understand the situation with Rune, let's talk about this whole stone phenomenon. It started happening a few weeks ago. The first culprit was known as an Axis High University student named Tanya. When we first discovered she turned to stone, didn't know what to make of it. The next week, someone else was hit. The dark type gym leader, Damien. But it didn't stop there. Soon it became a weekly occurrence until another gym leader was hit. Talon, who was the flying type gym leader. Uh, he was the most recent victim. Well, where do we start? Are these people connected in any way? The only real connection is that some of them were gym leaders and the students of Axis High University. However, the dark type gym leader, Damien, was not a student. Whoever is doing this for us a curveball. I see. That's all we really have at the moment. So we'll end our discussion here. This is just all super weird. What could possibly be the motive? We don't know. All we can do is gather more evidence and clues. Okay. So now what? Go talk to everyone again? We have one more roommate, but she's not here right now. I wonder where she is. Missing. We discussed this. Vietnam said she was going out. To where exactly? Not sure. Okay. Uh, this whole situation is very concerning. I feel like we're going to have to uncover many different things before we can finally untie the knot. I can say that again. And what about you? Oh. Yo, what up? All we can do is gather more clues and evidence. Other than that, we're playing the waiting game. Hey, I'm thinking of uh, bringing everyone to Mika's coffee later. Be sure to be around when we do. You won't regret it. So we're going there next, I guess? And vnam has gone out somewhere, so let's... Oh. Hey, Voltsy. You going out as well? Me? Don't know if you know this or not, but we have one more roommate here with us. She's been gone all day. Her name is Lavender. If you're not doing anything, you should come meet her. She usually hangs around Amber Park. That's east from the Grand Dream Station. I'll be there even if you decide not to show up. See you later, Odia. Alright, stay safe. Alright, so let's go meet Lavender. East from the station. And then after that we'll go to the uh, the cafe. Which I I have been to before. But I don't remember where it is. Right, so let's just head up, because I'm pretty sure that's this is roughly where the station was. If not, we'll just take the uh train somewhere. It does cost a lot of money. There's the cafe to the right, so I remember where that is. This place, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's just go east. Don't want to go in the cafe though. Don't want to trigger no event right now. Okay, so where are we now? We are at Central Square. I think we want to go north. This place is so big. I feel like this could be the biggest, like, city in the game. Wait, this is where we saw the guy. This is blocked off because that was um, where the university was. Right, I think we'll just take a um, the subway somewhere. Otherwise, we're going to be running around for a long time like a little headless chicken. Unless we just keep it in east. Shopping district. Ooh. I don't think it'll be around here though. What's this? The theatre. Oh, hi. Sorry, but there are no shows going on currently. Oh, man. 
I want to go to the theatre. Like, me and my uh, girlfriend are thinking about going to see Bugsy Malone. It's in our local theatre in uh, August. You want to battle? Alright, I'm down for battling. Shop, 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 shop to the top. Bop, 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 bop to the top. <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. Okay, anyway, Magma Drift. And let's go for acrobatics. Uh, someone asked last episode, I think I should just clear it up. I asked if I'm playing on normal or easy mode. I'm currently playing on easy mode because when I got to, um, I was playing on normal mode until, I think her name was Charlotte, the, the fire gym leader, and I, honest to god, could not beat her. Like, she was so difficult, and I put to easy because, like, I, I think I could potentially go back to normal mode and try that again. Not entirely sure how I do it, but the story for this is just so good. I just want to enjoy the story and not have to worry about getting destroyed every, like, five minutes. Oh, I say, why are you in a trash can? Oh, dumpsters, I want to talk to you, but you want to battle me. That's fine. Yeah, so I, I could continue to go to normal, but I'm playing on easy now, because I, I, I really enjoy the story of this game. I think it's really interesting. I just want to like, you know, experience it for fun. Well, the challenge was good at first, but then it just came, came to like more of a... It made me not want to play the game anymore. Cause it was so difficult, I spent hours trying to beat a gym leader, and then bam, got lucky. Some gym leaders I like, absolutely destroyed though. I think like, the second gym leader I had the fighting one I had trouble with. The third one, everyone said it's really difficult, destroyed it really easy. And uh, I mean like same with Reborn, like Reborn. I think Reborn hasn't got like a difficulty option, but everyone was saying to me, oh the fire gym leader is really hard, destroyed her. And then everyone was like, oh this one's really easy. Got stuck on her. <laughs> but I'll tell you the fairy type gym leader on uh, Reborn, the last one, oh my god, no. Not last gym leader, but last one you battle in the uh, current release. That was, that was awful. It really was. All right, I'm just gonna take the subway. I need to find it first. Uh, there it is. Gonna cost a teeny bit of money, but if we go Main Street Station, that's where we want to go, right? And then go east from there. Find lavender. Okay. Alright, so this is the station? What? Maybe not. I don't think that's where I wanted to go. Or is it? Honestly, I have no idea. I think we just have to keep exploring until potentially we find something. Okay, I'm going to go explore and see if I can find them. I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, might have found her. It's funny how the city works. People are blinded by its brightness. They don't see the, game, the grime that builds underneath. To those who notice the grime, get swept beneath it. This is where I found him, laying solacely on the ground, completely encased in stone. Who could be responsible, I wonder? The only thing I can think of that's turned someone to stone would be a Velt hole. Because that turns people into stone, but no matter what, I should be the one to find out, which could be Madame X, because I'm pretty sure Madame X has a Veltol. Flareon! Let's go right now. This was supposed to be uh, for Lavender. Oh dear, that sounds like Huey. Hope he hasn't gotten himself into uh, trouble again. Excuse me? Okay. I was going to say, like, I swear this, could, this should have been the area. And then, yeah. Said that chicken sandwich was for Lavender, Fla Flareon. <laughs> Huey, what are you two doing? Lavender. I was bringing you lunch like I promised, but Flareon decided the meal belonged to it. Apologies, uh, apologize to Lavender, Flareon. No, It's okay, Flareon, I forgive you. Here, have some biscuits. Hey. <laughs> so, what are you up to, Lavender? Oh, well, I was about to do something on my own, but this lovely person kept me company for a little while. Oh, that's Faulty. Don't know this yet, but we have company. Staying with us for a little while. Voltsy's one of them. Is that so? Well then, Voltsy, glad to have you. Like Huey here mentioned before, my name is Lavender. I'm the psychic type gym leader. Ooh. You said gym leader, eh? Now that's done, I think I'm going to be on my way now. I have some errands to take care of before I uh, head back home. Mm hmm. Flaring is getting restless. And Flaring only gets this way when it can tell when someone's lying. Oh. You sure Flareon didn't consume a lie detector at some point? 
there's uh, anyone who can see through my lies, it's Flareon. Alright, well, I guess I was heading to Talon's penthouse. Penthouse? Why would you want to go there? I want to see if I could find anything of note there. I feel that Talon's situation is, well, my fault. I don't understand why it is your fault. I'll explain when we get there. Fair deal? Wait, does this mean you're letting me come with? What does it sound like? That's what I intended. Valti, you'll come too, right? Yeah, they'll definitely join us. Well, alright. Would you like to travel with us, or would you like to uh, do other things first? No, I'll come with. I don't know where we're going, so... I'll come with. Well, I know where we're going, but I don't know where it is. Dream complex. Oh no, it's actually the penthouse here. Oh, okay, it's a different floor. Ah, that makes sense. So we're ready to go. Uh, Alright, talk to her then. Here we are. Talons own the right wing penthouse along with Risa Raider and others. Already done some research. No one will be here during our little uh, investigation. I'll hide in my psychic aura in order to sense anyone coming. But we should be fine. Should be fine. Yes, should. As in, things will go to plan unless something unexpected happens. Alright, ready? Uh, do I need to heal up? A little bit, but I think we'll be fine. It's only one Pokemon that has half health. It's really dark in here. Well, like I said, no one is here at the moment. Perhaps they shut off the power to conserve energy. Whatever the reason, it's none of our concern. Let's just split up and look for clues. Right, clues. Let's do this. Oh my god, she has a snares! Let's play the snares. Oh. Uh, oh, I see that Pokeball. Sharp beak, A. We haven't got a flying type though. But I'd say that could be kind of helpful. Wait, I'm pretty sure we don't have fly in this game, do we? Like, I'm pretty sure reborn and um, rejuvenation, you don't get fly, well, at least for a long time anyway. Looks like a gaming console, looks like it was uh, used recently. Oh. Wait, there's mail there. Dear Talon, thank you for coming to our show last week. We are pleased to inform that you have uh, won a free date with me, Nancy. Please meet me in Amber Park at exactly midnight. Remember to be alone as it is a date. Solely between you and I. Don't be late. Oh, okay. Well, I think we just found the clue. There's a cup here. And there's nothing. Nothing in this place. Go check the other side. Nope. And one more room. And yeah, another item. Sweet. Gonna just rob her while we're here. Reverse candy. Wait. Is reverse candy a... Uh... Okay. I saw it used to be called common candy. Or was that um in Reborn? In this game, that's got a uh, reverse candy. Can't really remember too well. Because Reborn and Rejuvenation are pretty similar. So I think Rejuvenation was like kind of inspired by Reborn. Well, there's some good news. What's that? Oh, I just, that just went on its own. The fridge at all? Food won't waste. Huey, I suppose that's good news, but that's not what I wanted to hear. Right, sorry, Lavender. Well, I have some uh, decent news for you. What's that? You found a suspicious letter. Which room was it in? Talon's room? Honestly, I thought that place would be too obvious. Go check it out. Go look for other clues while I investigate. Like what? Oh. Let's go back in all the rooms again and see what you have to say. I couldn't find anything in the top right room. In fact, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of a uh, whole whole lot to really look at here. Doesn't that come off a little weird to you? I feel like this place would be much more messy if it was owned by a couple of school kids. Wait, you actually found something useful? <laughs> yeah, that's one point for us then, right? Wouldn't celebrate just yet. Whoa, 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 don't scare us like that. Sorry, but I had no choice. I couldn't risk walking over here. Why not? Someone's here. But what? Someone's here? Lavender, I thought you said this should have gone well. Emphasis on should. I implied that it could go wrong, didn't I? Wasn't able to sense them with my mind until they got exceptionally close. Don't know how they managed to sneak up on me like uh, and my Pokemon, but they did. Well, what do we do? I could have my Akazan teleport us out, but I'd rather not do that. You two can leave if you like. I don't expect you to stay and risk anything. Not going anywhere. Are you nuts? I'm going to let you uh, stay here and get yourself into trouble. And you can't get out. Huey, you'd already stay for me? Of course I would. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. 
Let me just concentrate. I can view them remotely if I can just concentrate. I feel like it's going to be Flora and, um... The other, her brother, I think it is? Because just the green. We're wearing wigs. So this is the brat's place. That's what the boss told us. This place is supposed to be empty, right? Yes. Everyone who usually resides here at Access High University uh, due to finals week. So we should be in the clear to look around for clues. After we're done with that, we're going to head straight back to base. Got it? Got it. Let's just get this over with. Well, it looks like we're not the only ones here looking for clues. Huh? Other people are here to investigate? We should be good then, right? We could probably team up and look for clues together. No. Not all these people. They're Bladestar grunts. Bladestar? What are they doing here? What do you mention their reason? To find clues about Talon. Or so I assume. Well, what do we do? We can escape when they're in other rooms. Let me check which room they're in now. Hey, check this out. What's that? Not exactly sure, but it looks really important. Let's take this back to the boss and see what she says about it. Alright, let's keep looking. What's the matter? Slight dent in our plans. Looks like they found something really important. Well, that's too bad for us. We should just leave. No, I'm not leaving. I want what they found. Are you sure about this, Lavender? Look at it this way. Blazestar found something incredibly important. Don't know much uh, about Blazestar myself, but I'd feel if I had whatever they found, who knows what they could uh, do with such information. Sorry, but I refuse to take such a bold risk. But going after them is as bold as it gets. <laughs> Perhaps it is. Guess I just uh, contradicted myself then. Lavender. <laughs> so here's the plan. Faultsy, Alakazam has helped me examine the aura of you and your Pokemon. We have come to the uh, conclusion that we have the highest probability of success if we team up. Let's combine our strengths and put those Bladestar grunts out of service. You're going to kill them? No, no, I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to make sure they sleep for a while. Hopefully Alakazam's psychic won't hurt them too much. I see. Anyway, we have to act quickly. We don't have a lot of time. Alright, let's do this. I'm so ready. Where is she? Did she go into the room? Wait. Which room did they go in? Ah. Huh. There's uh, more of you brats running around? I thought this place was supposed to be empty. Don't worry. We're just as disappointed. We're here to take whatever you found for ourselves. What did you find anyway? Wanna have to take a quick look? What? That's none of your business. How do you even know all of that anyway? Sorry, but questions aren't being accepted at this time. If you won't give us what you found, then we'll take it uh, from you by force. Alright, let's go. And they have six Pokemon. Awesome. Got a Venusaur and a... Yeah, it's got to be um, Flora and uh, her brother. I can't remember his name. Florin? Just because the Pokemon and the uh, the green on them. They be wearing wigs. Alright, I'm going to go for a Acrobatics onto Ludicolo. Alakazam was hoping you'd Psychic Venusaur, but is it still fine? Oh, that damage. Oh, that damage. Solar Beam. Oh, you can charge up all you like. We'll go for another... Um, oh my god, Alakazam level 72? If she's the next gym leader, we need to train so much. Oh, we don't need to train, but... Actually, oh, yeah, we do. We need to train, because I think we can get to level 75. So having her be level 72 is just... A little bit scary. And... Goodbye, Ludicolo. Critical hit. Didn't get that first turn. That would have been clutch. And it's all be me, don't you? Ugh. And we lived it. Oh, nice. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna Magma Drift. Him both. Thank you, Alakazam. I was hoping you'd psychic that Venusaur, but... It's all good. Oh, I hit Alakazam as well. My bad. My bad. Stop hitting me! Kind of annoying. Uh, let's go. It's gonna be grass type. We'll go to Greninja, then we'll just Ice Beam. I thought I had Ice Beam. I was thinking of my uh, Greninja. <laughs> it's fine. Extra sensory on this. As long as Shifty doesn't go for a dark type move. Nice. 
That was going pretty well so far. You missed the Leaf Storm. Beautiful. Carvine. Okay, cool. We'll go for Stack and Shot. Take out the Shiftery. Get the attack damage up. And we'll keep going for Stack and Shots. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, there's no one thinking of... um, What's it called? Cacturn. That's the grass, uh, dark type Pokemon. Not Carnivine. I was how to Psychic hit it, but... I don't think you're the Pokemon I'm thinking of. Oh, okay, got... Uh, no Method Error. Okay. It's fine. Game didn't break. Forest Door. That's fine. Even when the errors come through, like, no attack goes... Goes through, so no one takes any damage. Which is great for us, I guess. Got another Looted Curlo. Nice, goodbye Carnivine. So keep using Stack and Shot, the more you use it in a row it gets uh, more damage, doesn't it? If I remember correctly. Oh, okay, another error message. At least it doesn't break the game, I mean that's not a good thing, isn't it? There we go, this is really bad. Oh no, we lost! What are we going to tell the boss? Alakazam Psychic. Oh. Ugh. No. Oh. Yeah. Not bad, Huey. Just 300 more punches and you'll start getting some, mu some muscle. <laughs> That's not funny, Lavender. I have some muscle already. I'm sure you do. <laughs> wow. Alakazam, you're magnificent. Please return. So what did they find? Here it is. What is it? It's just some brochure of some kind for a show being hosted at the Magnolia Theatre. You kidding me? What was uh, so important about some stupid brochure? Wait, I think I take all of that back. There actually might be something here we can use. Remember that red envelope you found in Talon's room? It mentioned a date with someone named Nancy. And this brochure mentions a show hosted by the same Nancy and a special guest. So Talon received a letter from someone who hosts, sh hosts shows at the Magnolia Theatre. Okay, well, what do we do with that information? Well, we could... Huh, looks like the brochure comes with free five, t uh, five free tickets. They're not charging me for watching the show? Hmm, that's odd. So this might sound like another bad idea. Maybe we should go and see what this whole show is all about? Yeah, that's a terrible idea. It's not a good idea, but we're not going to get anywhere else doing nothing. Something terrible is happening at this show. We have to see it for ourselves. If things go wrong, I can use my Pokemon to get us all out of there in one piece. Besides, I've always wanted to go uh, to one of those kind of events. Mm, well, fine. I don't like it, but I'll go as well. Let's go then. Hold on. What are you doing? Call the cops. You can't just leave these uh, Blade Star grunts sitting here. I'll just wake up and tell their boss what happened. Wait, but we won't get arrested too? We're not exactly residents of this home. They would arrest us if we were caught. We don't have to uh, make it known that we were here at all. Just have to lie and say we saw Blade Star grunts heading to the uh, right wing penthouse. I'm sure they, they'll take care of the rest. Well, there's CCTV cameras though. There, we should get going now. Don't want to be here when they show up. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so we actually learned quite a bit from that little investigation. Albeit a little more involved than I would have preferred, but fruitful nonetheless. So we're heading to the Magnolia Theatre now? That's correct. The Magnolia Theatre is hosting another show soon. Where's the theatre again? I believe it's in the shopping district, which is east from here. Oh, we went there, didn't we? It was uh, closed. Just walk down the road and you'll be there in no time. Gotcha, let's go. Alright. Well, I think I'll end this part right here. Next episode, we will head to the Magnolia Theatre District. And then we'll go see what's happening at the shows. Oh man, this game is getting... Oh, this game's always been good, man. I love the story of this game. Like, every episode has, like, kind of, like, new little plot going on. Love this game. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.